Hey guys, welcome back. Now, I haven't been left unattended, but I am feeling bored and quite antsy, so obviously it's time for me to dye my hair. Now, I did contemplate getting bangs, but I feel like dyeing my hair is probably a better option. I was talked out of cutting bangs. So we're gonna dye it instead. Now, I've wanted to dye my hair orange for a while, and I never really got around to it. So today I'm gonna be using the Arctic Fox hair color in the shades Sunset Orange and Porange. Um, and I've never used Arctic Fox before, I've usually used Overtone, but today I'm actually gonna be using these because I feel like these might be a little bit more vibrant and I want to actually dye my hair instead of just do like a conditioner type thing. So, um, if you've been following my channel for a while, you may know that I used to have platinum blonde hair and it was icy white and it was pretty much a blank canvas and super easy to dye. And last summer I dyed my hair blue. Shout out to those of you who have been subscribed since then. That's where, oh man. That video kind of blew up a little bit, and people really liked my blue hair. Oh my god, everyone needed to call me Billie Eilish. But today, we're gonna be doing orange. I miss having blue, but my hair is, as you can tell, I've been growing out my old blonde, and I have my roots. So this is all my natural color down here, and then there are some pieces down here that actually like don't even have any platinum left in it at all. So I don't know exactly how well this is gonna take to my hair, but I feel like this might be a little bit easier for people who don't necessarily wanna bleach the hair and might have like a medium tone blonde, and they wanna just dye their hair orange. So hopefully this works. I watched like two videos about it, but yeah. Let's get started. So obviously I'm gonna be using these two colors. I might use the orange to dilute the sunset orange a little bit. I don't know. Or I might try to do like that on the ends and then do the darker color up top. I have one of these mixing bowls. I since bought a new dye brush. These are really important. If you don't have one, I do recommend getting one. I lost my old one and we went all over LA to try to find another one and we ended up at Sally Beauty Supply. So just go pick one of these up, they're really helpful. It'll actually make the dye go on really evenly. Don't try to do it without it, it'll be patchy. And there's nothing worse than dyed hair looking like you did it at home. So I have one of these bowls, it has like one of the little like sieves, sieves, combs, I don't know, right there to actually push some of the dye out of the brush and if you've dyed your hair before, you know that these brushes collect a lot of hair while I was dyeing it. I also have just some disposable gloves because I don't want to stain my hands entirely and I also picked up some of these big lobster clips, What's up? no, duck bill, these are <laughs> duck bill clips just to keep some of my hair out of my face. And I also just grabbed a big bottle of the Color Safe Trust Me conditioner in case I need to dilute anything and I'm out of that regular conditioner. Anyway, I believe that's all I need. So yeah, if you enjoy watching this video and if it turns out cool, leave a like down below and subscribe if you want. That's all I'm gonna promote, so let's get started. <laughs> hi Goose, we're gonna be twins. Almost, almost orange twins. You wanna say hi? Hey big boy. My blonde baby. Hi. Okay. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is take my hair out of this. So you can see, like, this is all of the blonde from last summer. My natural root up top. So I've heard it's best to dye your hair, like, a day after you washed it. I don't really know what that has to do with anything, but that's what I've always heard. So I washed my hair yesterday morning. Now it's the evening of the next day. It's feeling a little gross. All right, so we're gonna take Sunset Orange. Almost made a disaster. It doesn't dry out, so I guess I could squirt more in. Cause boy, am I gonna need a lot, ooh. Are you ready? Do am I covered in hair? Oh, I am covered in hair. It's not that bad. Now leave. <laughs> okay, go away. Wish I had more hair ties. Why do I have like three hair ties to my name? All right, everyone seems to start from the top of their hair and work their way down. So let's try that. No, I feel like I should start with the bottom. George, stop. Keeps closing the door. Okay, let me get some gloves. All right. Let's go. Thank you. 
So I guess I'm just starting like at my roots and getting that the most concentrated on there and then I'm going to work out to the ends. Oh my god. Okay, so all of the roots on the top of my head are done and then I kind of faded it out a little bit to a lighter part of my blonde. So now I'm gonna go in and do this entire back section and work my way down like that. Um, just focusing mostly on the roots and then uh, I just wanna make sure I don't run out of my darker orange. So I'm trying to make sure I have like the darkest part of my hair colored the darkest orange first and then we'll go into the ends after and mix in some of the porringe. God, look at this. This is like the first time I've actually like used dye in my hair literally since like sophomore year of high school and that is like sophomore year. So in like seven years. Yeah, it's the first time I'm dyeing my hair in seven years on my actual natural color using actual dye. <sighs> Get nervous. all of the back portion like the root part is all set so now I'm just gonna start working in uh, the regular orange so I'm gonna dilute it a little bit with the porringe so I'm gonna do like a one-to-one -one. so it's just like a hair lighter so this is the porringe up here and then that's the sunset orange so I'm just gonna mix these together my inner Haley Williams. I've always been obsessed with her hair and I thought about getting the good dye young. Honestly, this was cheaper. <laughs> but I know her hair color is actually really good. I've heard really good things about it. My older mate used to use Arctic Fox. She really liked it. So now instead of people calling me, oh, you look like Billie Eilish in every single one of my videos, you can just say, oh, she looks like Haley Williams. That's totally fine with me because I actually look nothing like Billie Eilish at all. <laughs> Oh man, I have work tomorrow and this is gonna be all over my skin. Massage this all around. Oh, it's all coming down. Okay. Oh man, I've really committed now. The funny thing is, is that dyeing my hair doesn't scare me anymore. I don't know if that's good or bad, but it's like, why not? It's not permanent. Well, it is kind of permanent. Now, by the time this video is uploaded, I will be in New York for a wedding, which is partially the reason why I wanted to do this to my hair, to really like spook some family members. I think that'd be really funny. Section. I'm just gonna go on either side of my part and kind of like switch back and forth. So it's kind of like semi even in like the development time. I don't know if it's actually gonna do anything, but I know a lot of hairdressers hate me for what I do to my hair, but it's fine. Time to restock on this. All right, we did another one-to-one -one in here. 
That's so pretty. It also smells really interesting. It's kind of like grapey. This is the last section, just making sure it's all like rubbed in. Oof. Oh man, my face is just gonna be dyed tomorrow, it's fine. <laughs> all right, I'm just gonna take all of like the excess dye I have in here and just kind of work that into the ends. Oh my God. Hey babe, babe. Yeah, come here. Great. George! Oh. That was close. Look at this. This is crazy. I look like a- what's that, that bitch from Pokemon? Uh, Misty. Maybe. Hell yeah. See, so yeah, all the blonde like really soaked that up. Yeah. So, uh, now I'm gonna let it sit for a bit. Alright, that is up. Let's find a shower cap. Hey babe, do you remember where we had the shower caps? <laughs> I recently came across one, like this morning, when I was digging through here. And I guess I could just use a bag. All right, so I've clipped it up, and now I'm gonna take a Goodwill bag, because I can't find my shower cap. I look like the girl with the pearl earring. I'm gonna let this sit. It says on the bottle for 30 minutes, but this took me a long time to do, so I'm probably gonna leave it on for like, maybe like 20 minutes. We'll see, take a break, sit down, check Instagram. You know how it goes. So, we'll be back. Okay. Ugh, that was rough. So, it's been like 20-ish minutes, so now I'm gonna hop in the shower, shampoo and conditioner, do my normal thing, and see what we're dealing with. It's only gotten a lot brighter, um, so hopefully I don't come out looking like, I don't know, a highlight. <laughs> but let's go. All right, so that was probably really loud. It's the next day. I have officially gone out in public with my hair being this color. And it's definitely grown on me way more. And as it fades out, I think I'm gonna transition a little bit more to a regular orange, just as this fades. And I know this color is probably gonna take a while to come out of my hair, I've already accepted that. I'm definitely gonna be mixing in some of the extra dye I have into just my white conditioner so I can use it as kind of like an overtone of just a color depositing conditioner. Especially since I'm gonna be traveling this week, I wanna make sure I still try to keep my hair as bright as possible. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. I'm just gonna do probably like a three to one ratio of that just to keep it pretty light. Three parts being the white conditioner and one part being the dye or maybe it'll be a little bit less I don't know we'll see yeah I'm pretty happy with this I think it like really like pops with my eyes my boss said I look like a superhero which I definitely take as a compliment um, I'm really happy with it and the color didn't come off like on my pillow or anything which is something that I was afraid of but luckily we're okay so I'm pretty excited about it I hope you guys enjoyed watching this I haven't dyed my hair in a good year and this felt so good to do because I've been feeling so fancy and I love coloring my hair and since I don't have my platinum hair anymore I think this is probably gonna be near the end of the run of me dyeing my hair some fun colors so I hope you enjoyed this fun little ride with me of dyeing my hair blue and now this and way back when when I did platinum oh those were the days George George what are you doing? 
So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, would like to chat with me about your hair color, drop me a comment down below or DM me on Instagram. I'm more than happy to help. I am no hair care professional. I am no hairstylist or anything. I'm sorry if you are and you don't like the things I do to my hair. That's my fault, not yours. So you don't need to get all up in my comments. I've done enough hair videos now at this point. I know how y'all feel. <laughs> I'm sorry. I have an art degree, not a cosmetology degree. So, I hope you enjoyed watching this. Subscribe if you want, leave a like if you want, and I'll see you in the next one.